Explain like I'm five. What is frequency illusion? Have you ever learnt a new word and then you suddenly start seeing it everywhere in films, books, DVDs, on the news? It's pretty annoying, isn't it? So, what's going on here? What, what's happening? Well, basically, it's called frequency illusion, and I'll run through it here. So, let's say you learn a new word. Let's say epistaxis, which means nosebleed. You then activate a psychological process called selective attention, and this happens when you learn a new word, concept, or thing. It could be music. It could. Be, it doesn't have to be a word, but let's just say word, because most people have gone through this where they learn a word and then see it everywhere. Then once learning the word, you then subconsciously keep an eye out for it because of this uh, selective attention. You're looking for it. And then comes confirmation bias, which is when you start seeing it and then you start believing that it's just gained overnight popularity because you're seeing it everywhere now. But in reality, it's not really that. It's just you're keeping an eye out for it so you know you're seeing it more. And I think it's the brain's way of allowing us to learn things because to learn things, we need to reinforce it once we learn it. And I think this is... It's, we're just doing that. It's pretty interesting, really, but it can be annoying. But um, on a side note, an old man went to the doctors with a terrible pain in his leg. I'm afraid I just can't do anything about it, said the doctor. It's just down to old age. That can't be right, fumed the old man. You don't know what you're doing. How can you possibly say I'm wrong, said the doctor. The old man said, well, it's obvious. My other leg is fine and it's the exact same age. Hey. Hey, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, just ask them to me on YouTube. Or you can check out my social media if you have spare time on my Patreon page. But if you have even more spare time, why don't you check out this video about why we lose our childhood imagination? Because it's like it's pretty interesting, you know.